Hello, it's Cardinal Smith here, and welcome to another High Scores High Sticks Season 3 Long Challenge Civilization Game. Let's tune in with old Tomahawk and the Indian Empire back again. Well, episode 8, by the way, if you like to keep on top of that kind of thing. We can see he's switched to an oligarch and more military things have been chosen. So, benefits to boost to building military, boost to building settlers, and that's exactly what he's doing, building four more settlers to lap up those sweet, sweet resources within his borders. And so he should, there's tons there. Now, we can see his four cities, he has produced some kind of military unit at last that is not a warrior or an archer. Hmm, good job. And he's also building commercial sector, so that very... He's actually losing money turn on turn, so that is highly recommended. Building at two aqueducts, funnily enough, and a swordsman on the go there. See a glimpse of the scores there. A certain cardinal is just behind Russia in the scores, but it's pretty close. Bit of a sawmill going down, higher production, good to see, and we see a little notification there if you saw it, just really quickly. Lover declaring war on Russia. Guess what, spoilers, I have also declared war uh, as, as France on Russia as well. We've gone in, I signed an alliance with Montezuma, and we just declared a surprise war, uh, which, which Rome didn't like, but you know who didn't like it? Russia. They, they really didn't like it, funnily enough. Uh, things going fairly grand, I'd say, for India at the moment. They have been building and their score has been quite quickly rising. I think Tomahawk's got a grasp of the game. He's settled in now and he's building out a good baseline to go forward. And the military units are starting to be spawned. Look, even a catapult to go here. But hey, let's switch over to Lava. The Scythian Empire, yes, so, so many units and horse archers, um, and that's what Lovell was doing at this time, I think he just like built up an army um, over these, these kind of turns, he's building a religious sector there, and I think that's just to plant down what the um, great scientist that needs a religious zone to actually do his thing, what the zoom is? getting a bit annoyed. Russian Empire has been denounced at this stage and there we see Cardinal Smith myself declaring war. Now what you may see in the borders there is Novograd in the south surrounded by French troops. Over here looking suddenly finding this news and decides Cassus Belly declare formal war. Don't mind if I do. Your man Peter is not the happiest by it about it. Not the happiest. But down come the troops from the Scythian Empire. And what strikes me weird about this, as he receives a warning from my ally, Montezuma. Um I'm not gonna go to war with uh Lava here, but uh this person certainly don't want to fight two wars at once. But he starts to bypass or surround Kazan. And by this stage, Novgorod in the south has already been taken. I had that city surrounded. I had siege weapons and lots of ranged units to do their damage as swiftly as possible. However, I want Moscow. Lava, I think, also wants Moscow. Um, so he is going to bypass a couple of the cities here on his border, which was his reason for going to war. And he is uh, going to head to Moscow. I fear he is going to use my siege units to weaken the city and then step in. But we shall see. The horse archers standing at the border there, they could be t attacking Kazan. Uh, and yet they are standing there in defense, I feel. Uh, so he's going to send a knight in to attack the city across the river. Uh, but there we are. And now onto my own, Novgorod is taken and you can see I am fighting Moscow, sending trips across, uh, the spy work there, you don't need to see that, pretend you didn't. Siege weapon going into Moscow there, moving the island forward and taking out a Russian scout unit, 
the less the merrier. That's what I say about enemy units. Just checking the prospects of a knight in the attack. I need to weaken that just a little bit more. And that's really it. We can see Lava's attack there. 18 health off the city. Not much. He's going to need to wait for that health, that defense to be knocked down a little. But, I, well, whoops, my crossbowman barely survives. A double attack from the city and the crossbowman there from Russia. I strategically move that resource away because <laughs> I, I, my crossbowman, I want them to stay alive. So he is going to recuperate elsewhere. But I've been Cardinal Smith. This has been High Scores, High Stakes. See ya.